Hey, guess what? You're not the only one who has skin flushing. You're not the only one who has this abrupt skin redness or rash or whatever you want to call it that pops up. So don't let yourself get into this victim mindset that it's me, 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 and why me? And I'm gonna tell you why in just a minute. Stay tuned. <laughs> everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and this is Lean In Warrior. The reason why this channel is called Lean In Warrior is because on this channel we talk a lot about skin flushing and things that just make you feel incredibly insecure. We also talk about cognitive behavioral therapy, a lot of stuff with the mind, anxiety, and a little bit of everything sprinkled in there. But the whole point of creating the channel was to talk about my own issue with chest and neck skin flushing. And I just figured there's probably a whole bunch of other people out there that feel the same way that aren't gonna talk about it in public settings or you're not gonna see it, especially if it's chest and neck because they probably have it hidden. And so why not create a space where people can come together and talk about skin flushing? Uh, the pros, the cons, the, how we've overcome, how we're not overcoming, how we're releasing our mind from it, how we're not releasing our mind from it, and all of those things. So if that's something that you're interested in and something you've been just searching the internet, trying to find whatever you can about it, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification so that you'll know whenever I upload new videos. The videos are pretty cool, maybe-ish, but it's really the comments where I'd like to see more people just flood to the comments and I've been seeing that start to happen. I just created the channel not too long ago and actually became consistent in the videos um, over the past couple of months, but it seems that the comments are really starting to pick up where people are just expressing their own experience with skin flushing and also encouraging one another. So that's what we will do here on this channel if you'd like to subscribe. All right, now let's move on. So I wanted to talk to you today about Yes, we, we deal with skin flushing. Yes, it's awful. And if you're anything like me, or you can relate to this, sometimes we're kind of trailing up where we just don't really care much. And then there's times where we just feel like it's the worst thing that could ever happen to us, most likely depending on the social setting. Now, we are currently in 2020 lockdown-ish, starting to come back out of it. Um, so I think that a lot of us haven't had a lot of social interaction, so maybe we're not experiencing it as much. But the big thing for life is, if you are in a social environment, you're going to be anxious, most likely. If you isolate, you won't have the anxiety, but what kind of life is isolation? Like true isolation because you don't wanna deal with uncomfortable feelings, so you just stay alone. That is doing nothing for no one. That is not going to, at the end of the day, that's not gonna make you feel good either. So you can stay home and prevent your skin flushing and be miserable or you can go out and live your life and have some skin flushing here and there and either put all your focus on the fact that you're skin flushing or put your focus on the fact that it's just part of me it's part of what's what's happening with me now i will disclaimer this there are so many factors that can go into skin flushing and for me personally if you haven't followed along on the journey very long i have traveled the road of what is wrong with me I've talked to doctors, I've talked to professionals, I've had tests done and have found out that they really don't know. So I started looking for myself because there were no major threats in my blood work or any of the testing. So I always disclaimer that I'm not a medical professional. If you feel that you have something really crazy going on with your body, you should definitely go see a doctor, get all your tests done. So this channel is really about helping you have the confidence to go back out in public. Um, it's to, I guess, inspire you to go to a doctor if you need to go to a doctor, whether that is a medical professional or a, um, I don't know, medical professional, or a uh, holistic doctor who does holistic practices. Either is fine, whatever works for you. But this is more for those who have really gone down the path of what is wrong with me and they're coming up empty. And when you search the internet, you just find a bunch of people sitting out there talking about it, but no one's actually doing anything about it. And so anyway, I think that we are in a place where we might not be flushing as much because we are actually in isolation right now, but we're gonna have to go back out into that world and we're gonna have to speak again and we're gonna have to walk in front of people and talk in front of people if you want any sort of a life. So I think our focus, because I'm so big in this victim mindset I, and I've been there where if you go back and watch my very first video I'm not 
I'm not knocking the fact that I was feeling like a victim. I, that's a true emotion that I was experiencing and I was terrified to make that first video. But if you watch from that video to this one, you can see that I've kind of gotten my feet under me a little bit and that's really honestly, why is it so noisy all the time? Don't these cars know that I'm trying to film videos up here? Oh, that's like a, it's like a street sweeper. What is a street sweeper doing out there? I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I am ADHD. Do you hear? It's a siren now. What was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? Being in isolation. I don't remember. Oh, oh, I remember. Okay. So if you go back and look at my first videos or first video, I am just a mess. I am a mess and that is okay. And you'll hear me say that a lot on this channel that we're just going through being human. So even though I may talk about like, how can we feel better about this? What can we do? Here are some products I've tried. Here's some solutions that I may be able to offer. But at the end of the day, we're just being human. Our body's just doing what our body does and that's okay. So really this, this purpose of this video right now is just to have this conversation with you that we're gonna have to go back out there. But we've gotta be able to grab a hold of our minds in the sense of, of uh, knowing that we're not a victim in this and we're not alone in it and you're not the only one. And you'll hear from people who will say they have the same thing and they literally don't even think about it. They don't care. And if somebody points it out, they don't care. Oh my God, I wish I was that way. But you know what? If we can have our brains wired and altered one way, we can wire and alter them another way as well. And I believe that. So whether the skin flushing ever really subsides or not, the radical acceptance of who we are and that we're just being human and that we're just living our life. And hopefully we wouldn't be around people anyway who make us feel terrible about being human and our body doing what our body does. So there's my massive rant. But what I wanted to tell you <clears throat> is that I was um, looking on the internet and I was, cause I'll look every once in a while for skin flushing and just try to see if anybody has what looks like mine. Let's see if I'm doing it right now. I don't think I am. Um, to, do you guys just love those breaks in my videos where I'm like, let me see, let me see. But I was looking at skin flushing images and if you ever Google that, you'll see some really crazy, crazy stuff out there. But if you find something that looks like yours, obviously click on it. So I found some, some, something, and I wanted to tell you about it. I'm going to insert a clip here, but this is an article I found that was from 2016. And it says, it's about Anne Hathaway. It says, Anne Hathaway manages to make chest hives look totally glam. The actress showed off her Ellen DeGeneres nerves on Instagram. It says, actress, new mom, and Beyonce, I don't even know what that says. We'll just say actress and new mom, Anne Hathaway has been out of the limelight for a New York minute, taking time off to care for her newborn, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's cool, but we don't. The actress revealed on Instagram that she came down with a series, a serious case of anxiety prior to her appearance on The Ellen Show. And while we don't fully understand why, we can't help but feel like she's kind of pulling it off. Typically nerves are something people famous or not try to suppress, putting up a perennially chill facade, but the ever relatable Anne decided to let fans in on her little stressed out secret, posting a photo of herself to her social media account, revealing a chest full of blotchy red hives or hashtag Ellen DeGeneres nerves, as she calls them, i.e. the bane of all easily embarrassed or stressed out ladies. But of course, the actress somehow managed to make even a touch of blotchy decolleta, I don't know how to read people news, something. She made it look chic, is what they're saying. <laughs> Don't ask us to explain it, but for some reason, Anne pulls this splotchy look off. Maybe it's the fact that the particular root hue of her chest perfectly matches both her cheeks and her lipstick to create a monochromatic glam moment. All we're saying is don't be surprised if more stars start sharing their hashtag Ellen DeGeneres nerves on social media. What is your trick for calming your nerves? Okay, the crazy thing is it's like, it's not, I don't think it's ever going to be a cool thing, honestly, maybe, but I don't, I don't necessarily think it's going to be a cool thing. But what I love about this article with Anne Hathaway is that she pulls her shirt open and she points to it to let it be known. This happens to me. And I think so many people can relate to that. And when you see somebody who is an actress and does public interviews all the time, you're like, what the heck that happened to them. And then we can still go into a, a victim mindset with, yeah, but it doesn't happen like mine or it doesn't happen all the time or it doesn't blah, blah, blah. Whatever the case may be, we can always start to translate it into victim, 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 instead of being like, oh my gosh, I'm not alone. 
freaking Anne Hathaway that happens to her. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen, um, it's a speech that Meghan Markle did. Insert that picture here. And she, during during her speech, she starts to flush in the middle of her speech. But I remember my mother-in-law told me that she saw that happen to Meghan Markle and wanted me to know, she, you're not the only one. People who are very passionate have this happen to them. And so I was like, Meghan Markle, that's pretty cool. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys today because I thought that that was pretty neat. Not that I want it to ever be a chic thing, but that it's part of being human and I think we're trying to excuse the fact that we're human or we try to point to the to we're broken or we're trying to think that we're flawed or we need some sort of intervention when I I think we're just being human and for some people they sweat I don't sweat for some people they're they're hairy I'm not really a hairy person uh, side note really kind of strange situation here I don't grow a lot of hair under my arms that's kind of interesting to me. I've always thought that was weird when girls were like, oh my gosh, I didn't shave my armpits. I just don't really grow a lot of hair under there. Um, but that's my body being my body. Now that works in my favor, obviously. But um, but that there's no different, I think, with the skin flushing if it's not an underlining issue. You know what I mean. I'm not going to over explain it. I'm just rambling. It's Monday. I feel really excited for this day. Um, Kevin, our uh, our community member here, Kevin, from Ireland. I love something that you said on my Instagram today because I posted a picture on Instagram. Be sure to go f uh, find me over there at lean underscore in underscore warrior. I think that's it. You'll see it in my stuff. But um, I told him, I hope, you're, I hope your week is off to a great start. And he said, it sure is. I always love Mondays and this one is no different. Isn't that cool? I thought that was cool. So anyway, there you have it, my friends. Even celebrities skin flush. Normal people skin flush. Celebrities are actually just normal people who are elevated up. They're no better than you or me. They're just people. People are people being people. And that's okay. You're okay. So there you have it for today. Um, if you... Mm, mm, mm. You know what it is it's like this is really excited and it's going and then this is trying to translate for it and it's just a big old mess okay if you like this video and you hung around this long please subscribe to the channel because what it does is it lets YouTube know that there's actually something happening here and there is something happening here because we got something to say and there's other people out there that are looking for this information and the more you interact with this page, subscribe, like, and leave a comment, the more the algorithm picks that up and shoots it out into the world so that other people can come join us on this journey and they may have some, some answers that we don't have. They may have some solutions or ideas or thoughts that we need over here. So let's make sure that we get them over here by like, subscribe, and comment below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.